Check, All check, right. Check, 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 mic one. Yeah, two. we're good, man. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. So, uh, what dates you got in here <laughs> coming up? Well, I'll be at the Funny Bone <laughs> on Saturday the fourth, and uh, yeah, yeah. So, how you been doing? Yeah. Well, just got done with the jam sesh, yeah. feeling pretty good. Yep, pretty much the Christmas party. Yeah. All over again. Missing Tay and Trev and Alex. <laughs> the rest of the band. Yeah, I think we're... I wonder if they all quit. <laughs> it's just going to be the Jimbo and Grams project. I'm worried. Oh, God. I have serious concerns. <laughs> Could you imagine us trying to get up and play a set? Oh, we'd be horrible. <laughs> You've got... 8 million instruments to play and I'm struggling with the bass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about right. The harmonica and the well, kazoo. Well, the playing a bunch of stuff at once is good for my ADD because <laughs> I've always got something to focus on or something new to think about. Yeah. So. Hmm. Fr- frankly, I found just playing guitar boring. <laughs> yeah and yeah well i suppose i mean with the stuff that we play it's not like we're playing polyphia or chan or well anything. yeah and it's not not like i could play that stuff yeah if I, want. I mean it that's even beyond what i could hope to be able to get down but i don't know i mean the weezer covers and the nirvana and the stuff like that i've been playing that crap since i was yeah. like 15 so fun to play but very fun yeah and it's what people want to hear so yeah yeah no one wants to go here endless noodling of oh yeah the abstract musings of sean <laughs> just turkey noises yeah it's so uh, <laughs> whatever yeah well, so Spurge and I did a, we did episode sixty five, kind of reboot yeah, the thing. Nice. I guess this is episode sixty six. Nice, Route sixty six, episode uh, sixty six. Yeah. Well, here's what I want to do though for going forward. Do you think we could get the? Do you have much free space on your laptop or not? Yeah, okay. I got plenty. So I'm thinking because I think I can bring this sound external sound card Dealy Bopper microphones this over to Yaz's yeah. and then we can uh, hook it in and use the broadcaster software on your computer okay and then uh, should be good to go and then yeah we'll, like I'll probably just put the intro song and the rest of the crap on like a flash drive and we can Perfect. set it all up and yeah probably be, half an hour that'll it'll be, be fine. it'll be like basically the same product as <laughs> here except <laughs> your huge setup here my huge setup of i might need i'll have to do a double check but i God, i think i have a card table i'm pretty sure i do but okay. i'll let you know if i need one well so. and i was thinking maybe we could probably do like less webcams too because we okay. could maybe stick stuff up on a tripod sure and have it you know kind of like how this is where you know what it's a little further away <laughs> So my kids have a trampoline in the basement. Maybe we could sit on the trampoline and that would be cool. <laughs> do a trampoline pod. Yeah, man. Spurge could just jump on the trampoline the whole time. All right. Squeak. I got Squeak. one for you, fatty. Yeah, hit me. So <laughs> 20 years ago oh, okay. over at Tay's, yeah. they had a trampoline, and it started off, it was one of those deluxe trampolines with... Uh, had the net around it, you know, okay. of like the safety thing. Was it built into the ground or? Mm, no. Okay. And that's probably a good point <laughs> to note because <laughs> Tay and Mitch Sweet oh, get God. on the thing at the same time. That's a Ford F-150. <laughs> and t- they would come, I mean, they would all, always come within like a millimeter of hitting yep. the ground if they wouldn't just hit it out, hit the ground outright. Yeah. And those guys bouncing on that thing for like the whole summer, <laughs> that trampoline was just like a wadded up pile of shrapnel by the end. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> the first ever earthquake measured on the Richter scale in Esterville, Iowa. So yeah, pretty pretty much yeah. It was the last uh, seismic activity since the meteorite. Well, shoot, that's the Esterville 2005 offensive line. Right yeah, there. pretty much. Um. I was in a Christian band. Nice. With Tay and Trev and Ben Messer back oh, in the day. Oh, God. 
and we had a show at the coffee shop or something <laughs> oh. that we were practicing for. So we'd practice every day over at Tay's and Trev's. Oh. And we'd play for a couple hours, jam through our four songs or whatever, and then we'd go bounce on the trampoline. <laughs> Sounds pretty Christian. <laughs> it was Very well, yeah. extreme. We were pious. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you were. It was very pious. It was... Uh, the only pious one out of that group is Ben Messer. He <laughs> sussed. <laughs> well, yeah, Tay and Trevor are just normal guys. I don't know. Ben, I totally lost track of. Him. Yeah, joined the military, I think. Last time I saw him was at Iowa State. I bumped into him at the cafeteria somewhere. He had on one of those hippie drug rug things. And I was oh. like, oh, Ben Messer, what's up, All man? Right. And then, I don't know, talked to him for like two minutes, and then I never saw him again. Yeah. So. So that that reminds me of the uh, God we used to go to. Do you remember Stephen Iverson? Mm, of course. Yeah, we his his younger brother is in my class, and we used to go to his house and have Halo parties, and it was always the young kids, me and and his brother Zach and Dylan and Reeds, mm-hmm. versus all the old scrubs like Steve and Gordy, Gordy yeah, and, and uh, the Ben Dandy, Messer, probably. Dandy, yep. yeah, Sean, Ron Sauce, Ron Sauce got old man. <laughs> Holy sauce, shit! Yeah. I I thought that might have been the night when Gordon Lucas killed somebody. Was he pissed? Oh my god! <laughs> we kept, <laughs> we kept cheating in Halo. And it was this huge room of everybody playing the video game together. And I think it was it was probably Dylan or Reitz or somebody just trolling. Just used a gun that wasn't allowed or something, yeah. a shotgun or something. Just kept, just kept pumping Gordon. He'd die all the time. He'd come out and be super pissed. And, Who the fuck is killing me all the time? You know that's a band weapon and stuff. And, <sighs> yeah, I thought... Uh, that's funny. Maybe God. We used to mess with those guys so much because well, we knew at that. I mean, we were oh, yeah. five years younger than them, and we knew they were all narbs. <laughs> no offense, I mean, I liked them and all that, but oh yeah, AJ Larson. Was AJ, he, yeah, was he in the group with he was him, part yeah. of that clan. Yep. Yep. Well, Man, what a time. Gordy had a temper. I kind of remember. Oh yeah, he'd get after. Gerg him. was totally different. He was. <laughs> Gerg was super mellow most of the time, but so yeah, I've told you the boogeyman story. Oh yeah, that. okay. Yeah. Well, I'll just that's tell a, it for the audience. That's a great story. So we're we're playing Magic the Gathering over at Gerg's, <laughs> and for those that don't that's know, that's a pretty good start. Gerg is uh, George Lucas. We we were very not fortunate. that George Lucas, not the George Lucas, but George Lucas. <laughs> we were fortunate to have not only George Lucas but also David Robinson and <laughs> rolled in high school in the early two thousands at ELC. Jeez, we should have been great at basketball. Oh yeah, we should have been awesome. Had the Admiral, <laughs> but <laughs> and then we had a Backstreet Boy for the tech, yeah, Kevin Richardson. Kevin Richardson, yeah. Lots of famous people. Anyways. So we're playing Magic the Gathering over at Gerg's, and it was me and Zach Carter. I don't... Tony might have been there, yeah, possibly. Tony, Tony nice. Condon. But for sure, it was me and Zach, and we're playing along in Gerg and stuff, whatever, playing Magic, and we hear, like, a weird thump or something, <laughs> and, like, kind of the sound of, like, dragging across the floor. <laughs> and, like, Zach's like, oh, what was that? <laughs> And Kirk's mom comes out of the bedroom or something. She's just like, it's the boogeyman. <laughs> <laughs> We're all freaking out. Like, holy shit. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it's the boogeyman. Oh, Kirk's mom good. was cool, though. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I ever met her. She was really like surprisingly had a lot of education she really? had pretty much close to a phd Dad gum. yeah yeah I, smart well, lady last i knew gory was in alaska and i don't yeah. know if he moved back or what the I hell think he Gerg is out west somewhere too really? he's like in seattle or something or i don't Jeez. know but yeah well, i think he's still times. playing magic yeah i'm sure <laughs> once you really start you don't stop yeah I mean, unless Eric ruins it yeah. for you. Shrimp. Shrimp. <laughs> Spend all your money on badass decks and just kick all our asses all the time. Yeah. Well, I one of my proudest. Well, it's up there. 
my within the, my top five proudest Magic the Gathering moments was I beat Hairboy <laughs> at the draft that one time at Shemp's apartment. Yep. And then, yeah, that, I mean, because well, the first time I played Hairboy, Shemp talked me up to him like I was pretty much John Finkel. Who, yeah. If you know who John Finkel is, he's like the Michael Jordan of Magic the Gathering. Nice. Anyways... Eric's like, yeah, Jimmy's awesome, uh, whatever. So Hairboy comes over and he brings this like infect deck. Oh, I think. poison infect, poison yeah. something or other. So like, there's this weird rule that I think they might have gotten rid of. Yeah. Where, because it was just too overpowered, yeah. basically. But if you got infected and you had ten infect counters or maybe yep. five or something, you're just dead. Yeah, the game's over. So unless you had infect cards. That could counter it, or something, you know, yeah. specifically, you just don't stand a chance, no matter what. And yeah, he whipped that out on me. I was dead within like three turns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm GG. Trip and I'm just like, what the fuck, you know? <laughs> GG. Yeah, but when when the playing field is leveled, yeah. then suddenly it turns into a different, yeah, different thing. That's the way. So. That's the only only way i'd play magic again as if it was draft yeah well and i kind of wish we had more people that were into it yeah that would do drafts i bet we could get spurge and megan to because they're both into tabletop Does, has spurge yeah spurge used to play didn't he mm, even if he didn't he could learn in a yeah. hurry Kevy would play. Kevy would play probably a draft. I got teeth i've got enough cards we could probably just like make up packs and yeah then, yeah because I've still got all my stuff from yep, same here. yesteryear, and I don't care if I right. keep them or pe- keep them together or not or whatever. Yep. It's pointless. So that would be fun. That would be fun. Yep. So now that we've lost all our listeners talking about Magic <laughs> the Gathering. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> so are the uh, Hawks going to pick oh, up a yeah. new post player to go with Caitlin Clarks or not? No, they're striking out that. That Aisha Morrow or whatever, she's a transfer from Stanford, I want to say. Oh, she's like 6'6 six, six or 7 or something, right? Probably going to LSU, they think. Oh, come on. Oh, who wants to play for that? So how lame would you have to be to go to the team that won? Yeah, it's, well, it's just like super teams with Golden State. and I don't, I mean, I get wanting to win. And I suppose that's probably pretty appealing, but man, it's kind of like selling out. Well, I think so. And maybe it boils down to an NIL consideration for those kids because it's like unless you have the donors there or the people that are going to hook you up with the endorsement deal or something like that, you're just not interested. So if... If, like, say, for example, the best Iowa City can do is a couple of ad spots with hy V and <laughs> some car dealer or something like that in yeah. the I- Iowa City a- Iowa City area. Yeah. Alabama's and just then, throwing right, millions. Exactly. Of- yeah, LSU has got Nike and yeah. who knows what else or something. You know what I mean? Yep. <sighs> but- it's... It's definitely a an interesting uh, period. I I don't see this sustaining the NIL stuff. I unle- I mean, because we're at the point right now where it's not quite the wild wild west, but it's getting pretty close to almost like institutions can pay you now to play. It's there's a, a very very gray line that's being mm. um, towed here. Um, mm-hmm. And I, I don't know. I don't know how programs like in Iowa or maybe like a, even like in Illinois or Rutgers or something like that. Well, how do those programs uh, survive? Then, worse yet, what about the like lower tier D1 people? Oh, yeah. Like uh, how does a UNI hang or a uh, Creighton or somebody yep. like that? I mean. Yeah, I mean, there's uh, always going to be fans for sure. But if you're an inferior product, the, the Hawks tank and go – Two and twelve for the next ten years. Who's going to fill up the stadium? If you're yeah. awesome, why would you ever go play at Drake? <laughs> yeah, true. You know, yeah. I mean, so especially if other schools are going to pay it. Well, you're absolutely right. 
I mean, if if it boils down to where can I go get my exposure and get the most endor- endorsements, yeah, it's a simple calculus. Yeah, I read somewhere that Caitlin Clark has made like a million dollars in NIL so far. Wow, and that was before all of this tournament stuff yeah. where she. Cause I I feel like her household name status is. Oh yeah, it's way up there now. Exponential, yeah. It, and just in the past six months, it's probably shot up. Yeah, through the roof, basically. Her, uh, she's probably going to make more money in college than she will in the WNBA. Oh yeah, for sure. I would stay because I think she can play another two if she yeah, exercises COVID. the COVID thing. Yeah, which you'd be dumb not to, right? Because you'd quit and then go to the WNBA and get paid like fifty grand a year. Living in an apartment down the hallway from Sievert. <laughs> That's right. So our our mutual friend Dylan Steve Shades Sievert. <laughs> Sievertson. <laughs> <laughs> Lived in an apartment with many of the Lynx players mm-hmm. from Minnesota. I mean, it was a nice apartment, sure. don't get me wrong, but it was still like a one-bedroom <laughs> yeah. apartment. <laughs> with professional basketball players in a major metropolis. <laughs> I love the story of oh, yeah. it was was it was this from the bachelor party or was it some other time? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think it was the bachelor party. So he gets like Sievert gets some kind of a notice in the thing <laughs> like you're in big trouble, tenant. And then they have some kind of a CCTV screenshot of some guy because they had. The, oh, <laughs> let me back up here. So the apartment was had a very strict. <laughs> policy on smosin or vaping or anything of the sort dude <laughs> dude dude fucking so <laughs> Dylan gets this angry correspondence from his landlord like unless you clean up your act you're out of here and it inclu- the evidence <laughs> was like a CCTV screenshot of this portly fellow smoking a cigarette on the uh, apartment grounds. He takes a look at it. It's none other than Mr. Aaron Teets. (laughs) (laughs) That would have been awesome if Teets would have got Dylan evicted. (laughs) (laughs) Just a photo of Teets. Just looking at the camera going like this. (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh my god man. that was an epic weekend that was so crazy so oh. when we were <laughs> at the comedy club watching mark norman shout out teats was trashed yes. <laughs> and shannon's up at the bar like got his ass sticking out he's just like leaning up like this or whatever teats Gets like a running start, does a double, like a double slap on his ass. I turn around. Oh man! I, Shannon turns around, looks at him like he's gonna kill. Like <laughs> that's the first time I've seen anybody legitimately look like they were gonna kill somebody. Yeah. And Teets is just like, dude, fucking dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know how Shannon is. He just starts oh, giving man. him a lecture or something like that. <laughs> We get into the um, comedy, the auditorium or whatever you want to call it, where we were for the... Theater. Theater, yes. And what was... Teats was heckling people or something? Something like that. Yeah, they cut him off. (laughs) Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. (laughs) They cut him off. (laughs) And he got super pissed. He was just threatening to leave like that would stick it to him or something <laughs> <laughs> you know oh man but geez what a talk about a crew mm. me you six four six three yeah teats dylan six five jeff six five shannon six five spencer. all spencer six five all th- 200 plus pounds oh yeah we were huge oh man well do you remember when we ran in all those mongs at the bar that were <laughs> yeah. all those guys were like none of them were above five feet yeah because i remember one of them was talking to jeff or shannon like where the hell are you guys from yeah. a bunch of like huge vikings ne- or something neanderthals yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> i was uh. not afraid for my safety yeah no. with that i just kind of yeah. stood in between jeff and shannon the whole time yeah we were small back then 
so I can't. Where did we end up sleeping that night? I can't. I, remember. We were at like a hotel that was kind of down the street from Dylan's apartment. That's as I right. Recall. Yes, that's right. Oh God! Yeah, I remember getting up the next morning. We went to the strip club. Did we? Yes, but it was kind of like way at the end of the night. Uh, okay. Everybody was tired. Nobody was really that into it. Yeah, as I recall. And then some chick came up and she's just like. I'm just like, oh, God, I'm surprised you're soliciting me or something. And that <laughs> made her super pissed off. She's just like, hello, you're in a strip club, of course. So I just went and sat at the bar. I'm like, whatever, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> Jim had to go full lawyer. Oh, yeah. I am not to be solicited. <laughs> hey, I put, put up the finger. I'm like, yeah. yep. I am happily engaged. Were you wait? Were you married at that time? Um, yes, because that was eighteen. I think. Okay. I'm happily married. Yeah, I remember. I so I got sworn into the Iowa bar that morning, and drove <laughs> oh, up yeah. all the way to Minneapolis. So I went from Des Moines to Minneapolis, and yeah, that was one dope. day. I will not see another pair of Absolutely movies. not. No <laughs> tits for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was sussing. No, I remember now. Yeah, I was having like pretty bad reflex at the yes. time, so I felt like shit. Though you were a pansy. That's yeah. right. I really wasn't drinking all that much and couldn't really eat much. I was just eating oatmeal because it was like all I could keep down. How is your reflex nowadays? Are Very you, good. You've gone through puberty. And, yeah. Okay. Well, I think what happened was I when I was studying for the bar. I pretty much ruined my gut because right. I was just like eating coffee, just living off coffee and super anxious about the whole thing and the results and all of that. So I had like months of just shit. Yeah. <laughs> and I think my gut health was horrible. Yeah. Well, that makes a difference. And it took a while. I got on some uh, heartburn meds for a while and that seemed to improve it, but it probably took a year or two really to recover yeah and i've had when i was going through like the henry's gauntlet of getting a cold every time you turn around you know like how little kids go to daycare and they're just sure. constantly sick and stuff uh yeah then i know about that <laughs> yeah <laughs> i i was getting sick too all the oh, time yeah. so within the, the last year or two I had probably every ailment under the sun yeah. as well, right alongside yeah. him. That's how I was my first year teaching. I was sick all the time. Yep. And uh, that seemed to flare it up too. Yeah. But we've had a knock on wood, pretty good stretch here. Yeah. I haven't had much reflux problem really at all. Nice. I'm back to eating Doritos and <laughs> down in Todkas. Nice. No oh, the old Todka, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, we just got to introduce some smokes back in the old diet. Yeah. We'll be right back on the track for... Well, you're you're taking a gateway drug now in your CBD experience yeah. or whatever it is. So... I, I was sort of expecting to be more messed up from it than... Yeah. But, like, it's literally... It's just the only thing I could feel was the melatonin. Have you ever taken melatonin I, before? Mm, not that I remember. So melatonin basically just maybe takes 10, 15 minutes to kick in yeah. and it just kind of makes you sleepy, yeah. basically. I don't know. I would may maybe liken it to if you've ever had Benadryl before. Oh, yeah, for sure. You kind of just sort of drowsy yeah. and you could easily nod off. That's what melatonin's like. And I've heard you shouldn't take too much of that. Um, could be. Over a prolonged period. Kind of messes with you, but... I know our good friend and mutual acquaintance, Mark Normand, he's hooked on sleeping pills and he says he can't sleep without them now. So he yeah. <laughs> Does he take uh, some kind of a, like a Xanax or something or uh, what, I think what kind of sleeping pill is it? I think he's on Tylenol or maybe it's, um, what's that one called? Oh my gosh! I can see the the commercial in my head. Thank you, pharmaceutical companies. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's got the little bird flying. Um, bah, 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 bah. Our sponsors are gonna drop us because I yeah. can't think of their name. 
It's not, nice ad read here. It's not blue chew. <laughs> yeah, right. well, I could use one of those. Give me a couple of blue chews and a vodka Red Bull. I'm like 21 again here. Oh man. Um, starts with an A. Abil- Abilify. Ambien. Ambien. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I think that can mess you up. Like, you can go unconscious pretty much and sleepwalk. Oh yeah, I've heard about that. People are. Well, Roseanne Barr. I mean, that's why she chalks it up to going crazy from Ambien or whatever. Mm-hmm. I believe but, it. Yeah. I mean, I could see that happening for sure. Yeah, 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 you don't want to mess with that stuff. Get all jacked up on sleeping pills and stuff. <laughs> next thing you know, you're going well, crazy. Plus boozing, probably. Yeah. The if entire you mi- night. Mix booze with that kind of stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I so I take a little bit of high blood pressure medicine. What what is it called? It's a uh, lisinopril, maybe okay. or Loretta. I don't know. I have to check with Spurge to see. Pretty low dose. Yeah. I think it does a trick. Probably if I would exercise a little nah, bit more, lame. I would wouldn't need it. I take some allergy medication. That's about it. Yeah. So. Nice, you're a healthy young buck. Well, I don't know. Getting fatter by the day. You know, it's I. <laughs> you know. You know. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, no, I'm not fat. Okay. She's a dog. Okay. Ted Cruz has a dog for <laughs> wife. Okay. Okay. I think there's something to be said about being in shape when you're young, mm-hmm. and then it's just kind of nature's way. You get I, there's one thing about being 900 pounds your entire life. Yes, that's going to have well, adverse exactly. effects on your health. But if you you know you're in sports and you did everything, you exercise when you're young and in your right. 20s. Your metabolism can only do so much. Mm. You're going to put on some weight. I like that theory. Makes me feel not quite so <laughs> shitty about myself. But Yeah, oh well. <laughs> yeah. What was your what's your philosophy? You you'd rather die young eating Doritos than well, yeah. live so, long on a treadmill or if, something. Yeah, right. If you could <laughs> So if you do everything perfectly, right? Like a perfect diet, yeah. and just choking down a salad every day and killing myself on the treadmill trying to stay in shape how much realistically can you extend your life past right. what you would have probably lived anyways through the benefit of modern medication and you know all yeah. the rest of it you can assuming you don't get in a car accident or something like that you probably even people that are in terrible shape make it to their 70s usually yeah so well that's okay. the average life expectancy. right so I mean, I I can't tell you how many people I've seen that just smoke two packs a day and are drunks and stuff, and yeah. they still scrape up into the 70s yeah. somewhere. So, you okay, now I've taken great shape of care of myself. I'm in great shape or whatever. So now I've maybe made it to 92 yeah. or something. Congratulations, you can eat the donut on your deathbed. Well, exactly. <laughs> so I've, I've maybe increased my life 10, 15%, maybe. Yeah. But... <laughs> what I've had to trade is all those hours suffering on the treadmill right. and gagging on a salad. Ugh. Wouldn't you rather be eating like a Krispy Kreme donut and For smoking sure. a cigarette and stuff? <laughs> having, and a having a Todd Having a Todd and <laughs> see what happens? Because, I mean, maybe you get hit by a bus anyway. Sure. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> be off the dock at the Ritz. Roll see the, what happens. Oh, God, that's the gardens. A good one. <laughs> Tell them, fatty. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> God, I don't even was the, when was that night? Oh God, like was that? Could that have been ten years ago? Maybe not. Man, it was Earl's man. party, wasn't oh, it? Oh, was it Earl's? Okay, we took a party bus, I think. Yeah, we had Shipley and the gang, and <laughs> oh man, God, bunch of Clarion people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go to the gardens. Needless to say, one of our mutual acquaintances <laughs> by <laughs> rhymes with Tipley. <laughs> <laughs> Weiler Tipley. Weiler Tipley. <laughs> Pees off a dock at the gardens. Gets booted. Gets caught instantly, <laughs> Instant- by the way. Oh, God. It's like they had urine detectors on. Well, the yeah. Dock. I'm not even sure if any urine hit the ground yeah. even before people were grabbing it by the... Zip it up. Zip it up. You're out. Yep. Got booted. I don't know what what the hell happened to him, but he never made it back on the bus. He's lucky he didn't get arrested. Yeah. So... 
No, I think he did get make it on the bus. And he rode home with us because I remember he was like cranking the music. Mm. It was like uncomfortably loud. And then he yeah. passes out. <laughs> We're rolling down the road and it's just going. Turn it down. That was the Dude. night Kelly and Laura were just scowling at us the whole oh, time. Oh, yeah. And they bailed, I think. Uh, didn't they? Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, good stuff. Man, that that dude, he could party. Holy cow. I miss that guy. Yeah. He was fun. <laughs> oh, I remember going over and watching basketball film on like a Tuesday and it just turned into a, a rager. Just yeah. me and him at his apartment eating pizza. And... Man. Well, and I remember how he used to brag about He's like, yeah, I got my life put together. Uh, <laughs> I used to be way worse. And it's like, bro, you show up drunk every day, at least hungover. You're late constantly. <laughs> You're yeah. shitty at your job. <laughs> it's like you've got a fucking alcohol problem. <laughs> this is you put together. I hate to see... <laughs> to see where you improved from because this is embarrassing yeah (laughs) yeah I like the kid the thing is he had no support like whatsoever talk about being thrust into just an awful situation you get thrown into a losing program Mm. you're young it's your first like coaching gig yeah you know, you're you're set up for failure. Yeah, much. right. But yeah, did, did we? Did he do himself any favors? No. So. Mm-hmm. How but, many how many years was he here? I can't even. Uh, two or three. Yeah, yeah. it's not like long. That. Not long. Think. Long. But. Yep. Well, he was part of the most epic slow break team ever. Pretty yeah. much, though, we were. No, that was a roster. We'd probably make the play-in game of the East. Con- Eastern Conference he NBA playoffs. Well, well, we had Wendell. Yeah, it was, it was too lame for he. He was there for a game, and when like on his third oop that he caught, he's just <laughs> and he's like, I'm not even sweating. I'm going home. Yeah, he probably realized we didn't need his talents. Well, I don't blame him. Yeah, but I was so pissed off because the college guys oh. the year before put a super team together yep. basically of a bunch of horse shit didn't they have some kids from their bomb squad come and play or yeah, something that which was, is a bs that move. Was BS. still uh, mad about that well and then like, the other guys that like didn't play for that was on the team but didn't like nichols and tony and stuff yeah. they'd never even got on the floor yeah and thankfully nobody showed up to the championship otherwise we wouldn't have had our two chips dub baby we got the dub dub nation Yep. <laughs> back to back. You're you're talking to two back to back slow break champs. Here. Look, people. Fourteen and fifteen. Look, fans. I don't know if you recognize who you're looking at right now. We might not look the piece right now. <laughs> yeah, right. But we were back to back slow break champs. That's right. We're pretty much Barkley and Shaq. Pretty of much. Basketball. I'm Kendrick Perkins. Yeah. <laughs> But, God, think of that lineup. It was me, you, Swanee, Dylan. Dylan, Shipley. Shipley. And we had Chaz. Chaz. <laughs> Chaz was our enforcer. Chaz was the enforcer. Wendell. Um, That wasn't the team with, like, Brown and... That that was that was uh, one of our teams, but that I think that was maybe more like nine or ten okay. or whenever you guys were like eligible. <laughs> right after you had high to school. actually graduate high school <laughs> before you're eligible for a slow break. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good team though. Yeah, Scott was crazy. Scott was mad defense. Yeah, <laughs> Scott Schmidt. Shout I out. We had some of that shit taped like. Oh God! Her, her poor Dave Spurgeon was like <laughs> showed up to one of the games and was helping run the um, the clock, the clock or something. And Scott, being Scott, just dives for a loose ball and takes everybody out. I just look over and see Dave's feet sticking <laughs> up in the air. <laughs> Slow break, nonetheless. Oh man, you remember playing the Christiansons where? Um, Steve 
<laughs> Steve Christensen would play offense, and then oh Patton would come in on defense in his pajama what was, pants. What's uh, Patton's? Uh, Bob. Bob, yes. Oh, my God. That was some horse crap. That was super BS. <laughs> yeah, Burt Reynolds is playing offense. And <laughs> Patton with the lockdown D in his pajama pants. He just sub in and out every possession. That was such bullshit. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> well, they had they had their floor marshal Woods. Oh, yeah. He was well, about their only baller. Fandel, I think. Fandel would play, yeah, that's right. And then they'd bring it like um shite would be home for Christmas yeah. and they'd bring him to the championship bring him or in, some yeah. crap like that. That was horse shit too. Yep. Well, that's just like Austin Arnod, the D1 quarterback, playing for Hoyers. Yeah, they still couldn't beat Lutz's team. <laughs> still Lutz couldn't beat and Adam Ryder. And Bruce. <laughs> and Bruce and Levi Quasted. <laughs> that hell of a line up there. <laughs> the Splash hey, Brothers with yeah, Lutz. Splash, <laughs> Splash Lutz Brothers. <laughs> Three-point assassins. <laughs> I remember, I think it was in the championship game, Ryder drove in... And I just checked him. He went up for a layup or something. Shout out, Ryder. <laughs> I, I thought I went straight. I probably didn't. I probably jumped into him or yeah. something. But he was going in like full speed and just smacked into me and stopped. That's back when Ryder was like 90 pounds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he'd probably knock me over now. Yeah. Oh, <sighs> man. Slow break. I, one of my favorite games I ever saw you play in was not – one of your high school ones, but was the the teachers versus the <laughs> the students or something? Tore it up, baby. Tore it up. Well, that was like a strangely intense game. I wanted to freaking win. If you're not out there to win, what are you doing? You were competing, create like create and Lutz. You guys were carrying it. Yeah. I kind of forget what happened, but it was sort of a tight game. Let me walk you through it okay, here. Yeah. So it's like ten seconds left, last possession. We have the ball. We're down one, I think, one or two. I'm on fire. 26, 27 points by now, 13 <laughs> rebounds. Could be 14. I, for, it, the details are fuzzy. But anyway. How many dimes did you have? Probably had a triple-double. Uh, yeah, something like that. But um, <laughs> So, God dang, I still remember it like it's yesterday. <laughs> it's our ball, 10 seconds left. I freaking passed the ball to Tony Klein. Like fumbles oh, it out of bounds. Yes. He turns it over, and I look oh, at him like, "What? Tony. The All you had to do was pass it back to me. I would have splash broed it." Yeah, nothing but net. I remember Tony because I did, didn't Lutz hit a three or something to get you guys within striking distance yep. or something. Because I want to say maybe yeah. with a minute or so left, you were down like four or five or something yep. or whatever. Came back. I remember that. Tony turned it over and choked kind of for the... Turnover, Tony. Oh, poor TK. Yeah, well. Well, I, I remember you getting teed up because you punched the <laughs> mat or something and like yeah. Joe Heinrichs or something. <laughs> yeah. Teed you up and you're just like, ah, you're going incredible Hulk. Out. Yeah. I wanted to win, bro. It's well, competitor. I remember talking to because Swanee, it was Swanee's class, wasn't it? Yeah, Swanee and Ryder and <laughs> uh, Nealand, Derek ne Nealand, yeah. Matt Burrell, those guys. Yeah. Fun group. Well, and they didn't run on you much. Which no. I figured geez. they would have. Yeah. Because they probably could have run you off the floor if they'd have played well, fast. Well, that's just, I mean, that's how different the game was. You didn't really play fast back yeah, then. Yeah, that's true. I suppose that's true. Even. God, that's probably been 15 years now, 10, 15 years at least. Yeah, was that in like 2010 or yeah. 28, 2008 or something? something? like that. Well, probably no, you couldn't have been in high school. Yeah, it was probably 2010, 2011. Damn, that's crazy. And yeah, you just didn't play. You didn't play fast like that. Mm-hmm. Amazing how the game changes. I, I remember when you teachers were practicing for that. I, <laughs> oh, yeah. I came to the practice that's for right. some reason. <laughs> and well, you were, weren't you an aide? Or something? Mm, I don't know. I for whatever reason I wasn't playing it. Oh, I was watching. I think we needed people to practice against. So I, it, yeah, I, yeah. I came to the prep because it was pineapple head guy. <laughs> what was that <laughs> yeah, guy? Bosma, Bosma and Bobert Terazma, <laughs> TK and uh, York, York probably and oh, Johnson. 
what York was a non-factor. What oh, the hell God. happened to him? Six, six nine. nine shooting guard took about six threes, made one. <laughs> I just remember Macaulay being like, "Hey, yeah, we need you out there." Yeah, you know, something, something along those lines. But talk about okay, talk about your lineup <laughs> here. Let's run through it. So, me and Lutz, okay, we can ball. Could. Good ball. Yeah, at the time. <laughs> and our other starting starters are probably Ro- Bobbert Rosma, York. So there's four. And Tyler TK. Johnson, probably Tony Klein. Yeah. So off the bench, you got Tyler Johnson, <laughs> McCauley. <laughs> McCauley. <laughs> Dan Hewitt. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, Hewitt was just huge. Yeah. Um, we had the janitor. God, what was his name? He's still there. Uh, I forget his name. He was pretty athletic, though. Um, oh man, I want to. Did we have some chicks on our team? I hope we didn't, but I can't remember. I don't remember that, but you know that that was such a tight knit high school staff, though. It's kind of sad to see him go, but hard to imagine that would work anymore. Yeah, I don't even know who. Do you have, would, even have the bodies to put that together? For men, we could probably get five or six that would actually. Me, Nick, Nick Rice probably play. Crying would play. Um, maybe Dave Johnson. How about. Uh, oh, what's that ag guy? Is, oh, can he yeah. Play? He'd play. Probably suck, but he'd play. <laughs> 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 well. Krein used to play. Yeah, himself, he's okay. Didn't he? Yeah, he could. Probably, the Nick, thing is, Nick we, could be good. We'd just be so out of. Sh- we'd have to yeah. like make it. Everybody's got to be across <laughs> court or something. Well, yeah, before just, you can advance the ball. And the other problem you'd have is who's gonna who's gonna be the guard. Yeah, or who's gonna guard Owen? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, right. That that'd be the, a huge issue. That that was a factor you guys didn't have with the Swanee right. crowd. Yeah. Because. You'd almost have to be like, okay, Owen, play with your left hand or something. Yeah, or yeah shoot with your left shoot hand. Shoot with your left hand, yeah, because he'd, be, he'd just tear you up. Yeah. The other kids, well. Oh, we'd get smoked. I yeah. mean, there's no doubt about it. We'd get beat by 40. <laughs> yeah, the other kids would probably be more than enough to get you over the hump. But, yeah. Um, yeah it'd be, I don't know. Maybe you ought to take the idea up again, see if it would work. I, I would... You couldn't pay me enough to play in another game like that. <laughs> uh, as much as I would like to play basketball again, I think I'm just done. Yeah, there's you no know? way. I just don't want to tear a knee up. Or they still play in Armstrong. Dave Swartz. Fucking ankle, yeah. Dave Swartz talks to me a lot at the tennis meet. Oh, I'm going to play at Armstrong tonight. <sighs> no if, way. Well, if, if Schwartz is going, then probably I could hang. Oh, If it's sure. Schwartz. Yeah. But fuck, I just don't want to do it very yeah. bad. I I get home, I'm tired. <laughs> I want to eat. Exactly. I sit on my recliner and play PGA golf 2K23. Yeah. With Steve and Teets. That's so, what I want to do. So your guys' golf focus has shifted to virtual now, <laughs> yeah. I see. Okay. Well, so get this. <laughs> Dylan's home. <laughs> He's golfing today, walking the Esterville course. What? Yeah. <laughs> It's 20 degrees and sleeting. And me and Teets are supposed to go out tomorrow morning with Dylan to walk the Esterville course. I guarantee you Teets won't make it. <laughs> guarantee. <laughs> maybe, I guess. he lo- Teets loves golf, so maybe he will. But anyway, Dylan sends us a snap. He's got like <laughs> 10 layers on, gloves, hat. He's walking to like hole six down the <laughs> fairway. What? Oh, what is he Pin doing? high, boys. Good grief. Just wait till it warms up. Yeah, dude. we're Dylan really wants to beat us <laughs> this year for some reason, but it's my goal not to let him. If I have to cheat, I will. Yeah. Oh, that was that was a one putt. Well, when we, yeah, when we were playing scramble in Wisconsin, that last trip we took. Yeah. You and I versus Teets and. Dylan and what, who's Drews and Spence, uh, Spencer? Spencer and I don't. It know. might have been Spencer and Dylan Reeds and Drews, but we were making sure Dylan <laughs> yeah. wasn't going to win. <laughs> I remember. Steve. 
Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, we got a trip coming up, don't we? I'm looking forward to it. Where are we going again? Leech Lake. Leech Lake. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be a extravaganza. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on to your butt. Oh, God. Be one of those weekends where you're glad to get home. Yeah. <laughs> it's like alive. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Those trips are always fun. With do Something we, new. Do we have a decent place to stay like last time? Yeah, I think okay. Dylan got the Airbnb okay. reserved. and Yeah, yeah it's going to be a good time. Looking for something new. I'll have to try to play a round or two before we go so I get the rust off a little bit. Yes, yes. It's going to be a lot of golf. See, I like golfing, but I don't just love it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's... I get into it maybe a little 30 days in the summer. I could see myself yeah. golfing fairly regularly, but I just, I don't, I don't know. I have the stomach for it. Yeah. Like day after day, week after week. I, I don't, I, I can't see myself doing league or something yeah. like that. Or I, I really like golf. I just, I don't like the people who really like golf. Yeah. It's kind of sub, it's like sublime. It's like sublime. I like sublime's music. I just don't like I just the people. I don't like the people that like sublime. You yeah. Know? And I know there's people like the Grookies. I love those guys. They love golf, but I can name drop some others that are just douches out there. Oh yeah. You know. Talked in polo. Dude, no shot, bro. Dude, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. dude. Oh, whispering in here, dude. It's about two hundred feet from. Dude, nice, dude, nice shot, bro. Oh yeah, dude, bro. You got a slight tailwind here. It's about sixty yards to the pin. <laughs> you probably want to go. Oh yeah, bro. Get that green. seven iron out there, yeah, bro. A little bit left to the green. Yeah. So, here's I think what would be a lot of fun. Put a round together. Us two, Tay Spurge. Oh, what yeah. do you think? Oh yeah. Would you be into that? Oh yeah. That'd be a lot of power. Does Tate golf? I Tate know. golfs, yeah. I don't know if he does a lot. He's I think he's kinda like me. He yeah. can pick it up if he needs to, but he's not super good. But sure. if he gets a hold of it, he'll knock it to the Yeah. You know, he'll hit Pelzer's acreage from <laughs> the T box of yeah. four. Yeah. Yeah. That'd <laughs> yeah. be nice. Yeah. I saw Spurge drive the green on five one really? time. Yeah. Wow. Back in the Spurge days. Soper drove over us on four right to the green. We were we were putting and Damn. Here, here comes the ball rolling about eight feet from the pin. Jesus. From the tee box. Was, was that Jeff or Andy? Andy? Yeah. I think Andy was maybe better than Jeff even. It was insane. Probably. I mean, I've never seen something like that. Like where the hell did this ball come from? crazy mm-hmm. yeah because I, I i think andy was the best out of the family yeah. wasn't he yeah well trey jacobson's super good right oh yeah he drove jacob bosch drove past the green on five into the sand in the back jesus i i, I don't know i don't know how you do it well i can't consistently make good enough contact with the ball even to yeah. you know I'm I'm hoping that I just have a decent golf shot yeah, most of the go time. Go straight. And I don't think it's a question of strength or power or something. I, I, I don't know. It seems to me like it's in how do you transfer what your body can generate yeah. into a golf swing that yeah. will actually be good and yeah. <laughs> you don't mean that the ball hits properly. <laughs> it's... I've had a slice for like three years, and mm-hmm. it's like anything you try to do just doesn't help. Yep. So it's to the point where you play the slice and aim towards yeah. the north, and hopefully it goes to the east. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, a senior could actually play a little bit. He is. He's got such a temper on him, though. Yeah. He gets so pissed off if he <laughs> gets a bad shot. And then he well, hasn't golfed Jim much ever, uh, since, ever since he fell down the stairs <laughs> and fucked his knee up. Did I ever tell you this story? I think so. I don't know. Oh, I'll, I'll tell it to you again. So this is probably about 10 years ago. We were getting lined up to go to a friend's wedding in Denver. Yeah. And it was kind of a big production. And I just hear a 
Get dunk, 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 dunk. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, my, oh. And, <laughs> and, Jack, and it's senior laying in a pile at the bottom of the stairs. I'm just like, oh, my God, what the yeah. hell happened? He's just like kind of almost uh, passing out from Jim. Uh. He was he was hurt. Yeah. He's, he's kind of almost like passing out from the pain and everything. Yeah. And he gets a hold of himself, sort of, and he's just like, oh, my God, my knee. Uh, and I'm looking at him, and I'm like, his, it's puffed up yeah. already. Like, instantly, I'm like, Dad, you really <laughs> screwed your knee. Like, you tore an ACL or you yeah. effed up something, but you need to go to the doctor. And he's like, fuck it, I'm not going. So he... <laughs> not going. He sits in the back of the car... With his leg elevated, you know, he's like icing yeah. it and stuff. And I drive us out to Denver. <laughs> he refuses to go to the doctor. He's like, no, we're going to miss the rehearsal dinner. <laughs> so I drive us out to Denver. Was that the stairs he fell down here? Yeah, oh, right here. Man. And, uh, <laughs> and we're at this, at this wedding, and he's like trying to hobble around and stuff. And uh, it was he just could hardly move basically, yeah. and he's like, "Oh, I'm doing better," you know. And you no, know, you're not. The wedding was on the side of a mountain. <laughs> oh, jeez! And it's like this huge slope and stuff, and he's just like, people are like, I had to like virtually carry him oh, in and out of there. Man. And he just refused to go to the doctor, and he's just, oh, I'll get better, I'll get... Well, he finally gets looked at, like a year later, and they're like, "Dude, you tore your uh, patellar tendon." Oh yeah, sure. So he has a, a like a 60, 50, 60% tear of his patellar tendon yeah. on one leg. And as a result, he has like zero sure. or maybe, maybe at most a third of his strength yep. in one leg. But by the time he got looked at, the surgeon's like, hey, you're old, whatever. You yeah. Know, throw a brace on. You'll be fine. But he can't like really golf anymore. Or, yeah. Yeah, it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor senior. Well, he should have went to the doctor. Yep. Right. No, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. He got insurance. He might as well use well, it. The, he comes by that. It's, it runs in the family, unfortunately. Fritz had this, like, in he pretty much had, like, a huge tumor on his <laughs> leg. And everybody's. It's just horrible looking yeah. thing growing on it, and everybody's like, "Fritz, you got skin cancer. You gotta yeah. go, dude." And he's like, "Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going." And so finally, somebody made him, like, made an appointment for him yeah. at the skin cancer place or whatever. <laughs> and <laughs> it comes time for his appointment, and he's just like, eh, "I don't want to go. <laughs> Fuck it, not going." I think he just hacked it off with a knife oh or something. Oh, my God. And it just, you know, went yeah, away. Whatever. Yeah, that was like years ago. Jeez. What is he, 90-something now? Yeah, he's yeah he's 89. Oh, really? He'll, I think, be 90 on his next birthday. Nice. Wow. Yep. But, yeah, we, they, people are... People on my the Rosendahl side of the family are horrible. Like, yeah. The doctor. Yeah. So that's funny. Yeah. Funny, funny, funny. You got to go get your health care, people. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Oh, shit. Need to quiz? Yeah, I suppose. Probably time to wrap it up. All right, Fatty. All right. Episode 66. Peace. Queef. <laughs>